Let's say if you're ready for language welcome 152. We talked recently about subjects and verbs in regular reading, and I'm going to read you that to start today. So we have a subject and a verb. Remember, if you have a plural subject, you need a plural verb. Singular subject, singular verb. What is a singular verb? Often singular verbs end in S, plural verbs do not. So first of all, I'm going to say a noun, I'm going to say a subject, it's going to be singular or plural, and you decide if you should use is or are after it, okay? So if it's singular, it needs is, if it's plural, it needs are. So it just need is or are, okay? First of all, he is or he are. He is. Horses is or are. I'm not giving full sentences, we're just doing subject and verb. So horses is or horses are, which is correct. Horses are because horses is plural and are is the plural verb. Remember plural verbs do not end in s, singular verbs often do. Plans is or plans are. Plans are. Friend is, those are singular. Computer is, they are. Okay, I hope that made sense. <laughs> hope it didn't confuse you too much. Um, now I'm going to say a subject, and you say was or were. So if it's a singular subject, you need to use was. If it's a plural subject, you need to use were. They were. He was or were. Was. She was. Families were. Animals were. Lady was. Okay, so in our lesson today, we're talking more about subject verb agreement. But something that we need to remember, sometimes we have a prepositional phrase in between our subject and our verb. And we need to be careful because when that happens, our subject and verb still need to agree. For example, the sound of many voices was or were heard. So what is our subject and what is our verb? Okay, so sound is our verb, our subject. Um, one of these will be our verb. But notice this prepositional phrase, of many voices. <clears throat> so do we take our object in the prepositional phrase and make our verb agree with that? Or do we make our subject and verb agree? Okay, so what I want you to get here is the subject and the verb must always agree. Even if there's a prepositional phrase here, the subject and the verb is what needs to agree. So sound was or sound were. Sound was. Okay? It's not voices was or voices were because in that case it would need to use were. Don't worry about what's in the prepositional phrase. Don't worry about how that sounds. Think about the subject and the verb. Sound was is correct, so that is the right thing. Be very careful with that. Do not look at your prepositional phrase to make your subject and verb agree. Look at your subject and your verb to make them agree, okay? Sorry, just let me fix something in my notes. Okay. <clears throat> now, often sentences begin with here or there. Now, I want you to know here and there cannot be your subject. When you're looking in a sentence that starts with here or there, and you're looking for your subject, look after the verb for your subject. Here is water in the desert. Here is not your subject. Look after the verb. Water is your subject. Okay, because, it, because is is your verb, so who or what is? Water is. So, is is your subject, 
Water is your verb. Here and there cannot be your subject. Now, when you have here at the beginning of your sentence, um, remember that, again, your verb needs to agree with your subject. Don't worry about here. Don't try to think of here is or here are to figure out what your verb should be. Think of water is or water are and which is correct. Water is is correct, right? Now, there are two sides to every question. What's our verb? Let's find that first. Are is a verb. Now, here and there cannot be your subject. So, who or what are? Sides are. Again, make sure that you do not try to look at your word here or there to figure out what your verb should be. If you would be trying to decide if you should use are or is, don't think there is or there are. Look after the verb. Sides are or sides is. Sides is plural, so you need are because that's plural. Is is singular. So be careful, make sure your subject and verb agree. Do not worry about the prepositional phrase. Here and there cannot be subjects. And make sure if they're there, remember they're not subjects. Remember to make your subject and verb agree even if it comes after the verb. In your lesson today, on page 233, you need to do think A, think B. On page 234, do think C. Choose if has or has should be in a blank has or have, and then remember D, write the abbreviation for the part of speech. Remember the parts of speech? We have noun, verb, pronoun, preposition, conjunction, interjection, uh, I'm sorry, noun, verb, pronoun, adverb, and adjective. Okay? So right above every single word there, what kind of word it is. You can write the abbreviation instead of writing adverb, you can write A, B, B. That's a big mistake. Let me know if you have any questions. Please be careful to do every part of your lesson. Look over page 233 and 234, and when you're finished, make sure you're finished, okay? And then call me to grade. Do your best, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.